Hey everybody, it's Pond1138, and I just want to do a really quick video review of the Kamen Rider O's uh, O Metal Holders. Um, I can't say a set, it's not a set. The uh, O Metal, o metal Holder. Uh, it's real hard to say. Okay, so here's the holder. Pretty much looks like uh, the one on the show. It's just a little bit different, mainly on the, uh, the binding. Uh, uh, yeah, the the binder here on the side but I, I really dig the uh, the O's driver design on here which is uh, pretty cool Let's take a look at the back which is pretty much the same but uh, no paint detail it's got the uh, manufacturer information down here yeah it's pretty cool now the reason I bought this is because when I started collecting the uh, O's driver with all the metals I quickly realized that, uh, you know, keeping all of the metals together was going to be kind of a hassle. And then I kind of kind of decided that I really needed one of these in order to keep all of my metals organized. So uh, it's got these little latches here on the sides. And it opens up much like a book. And here you can see all of the core metals that I have. These are all of the primary core metals. And it's a little crooked. Uh, that are available in the show and I've pretty much got it arranged as show accurate as possible and this is pretty much me just looking at all the different episodes and seeing where they place all the core metals and so I think I've got pretty much most of them where they're supposed to be as show accurate as I can possibly get it uh, I mentioned this in my uh, O's driver review that one of the things I noticed is uh, this uh, section right here was always empty, so I assumed the Puto Tirano would go here. And uh, all along the bottom, it was only filled with uh, cell metals. So, again, I assumed that uh, the uh, movie metals would go down here. And as for like which one went where, it, it was kind of a toss-up. Just for color balance, I decided to uh, move them around. Uh, because there was a lot of uh, red and orange on this side, and I just felt like it maybe I needed to put some black on this side and uh, put the orange ones over here, or I you know you can put it the other way. But uh, pretty much how you arrange the core metals is all personal preference, and for me, this is how I wanted them arranged. So, uh, other than that, I mean, there's really not much else to say about it. Uh, as I said, this was the Bandai Asia version because I knew when I got it, it really didn't matter which version I got. And it's a nice little thing to have, and uh, if you can get a hold of one for at a good price, I definitely recommend getting one. Because when you start collecting a lot of core metals, you're going to have a hard time uh, keeping them organized unless you have your own uh, system of having them uh, together. But other than that, um, yeah, that's about it. I really recommend this if you can get a hold of one for a good price. Alright, so I'll uh, see you guys later on my next review.